welcome to episode number four. Four. Four of the Gospel Kitchen. This is a special children's edition just for you kids. So I've invited my special kid, special kid, to come along and join us for the Gospel Kitchen today. So Miss Allison, the Soprano and the preacher are going to be teaching Mr. Drewby. Drewby. How to get behind the Gospel Kitchen, especially the kids edition. We're going to give you kids these things to help make uh, these desserts or fun things for you. We're going to give them to you and they'll be there outside your door waiting on you to show up. And <clears throat> You go outside, get them, get mom and dad to help you, uh, and we're going to watch as these things take place. Now, th the idea here is in the Bible, in John, and so many other places, it says, love one another. And Jesus said, love one another as I have loved you. Now, here's the thing. We've given you two things to make. And as you make these things, we encourage you to enjoy one or the other and then maybe give the other one away and say to whoever you give it to God loves you and I wanted to do this for you take that as an opportunity to share share hope share love and share the good news just like we shared with you hey we hope you have a wonderful day and a wonderful time doing this because it's just going to be awesome. And with that being said, how to do Rice Krispie Treats. So for Rice Krispie Treats, we need, let's see here, we've got to have, um, to do this, we need a measuring cup. Spatula. Oh, spatulas. Some Pam. Some Pam. Butter. Marshmallows and Rice Krispies. You need a dish to put it in. Microwavable safe bowl and a bowl to mix in. Did y'all get all that? All right, are you ready, Drewby? You look so excited. All right, y'all are on. All right, the first thing you're gonna do is measure out your Rice Krispies and tell me how many cups we need. Six cups. All right. Brand. All right, this is a two cup measure, so how many times do you need to fill it? Uh, that would be two, six divided by two, three. Three. All right, we're going to This one? Yes. is in a large microwavable safe bowl, we're going to melt our butter and our marshmallows. And you need three tablespoons of butter. How much marshmallow? You need a knife. It says on here. 10 ounces. We're gonna use all that though, it's just 10 and a half. Okay, so I just pour it in. Yes. Oh, wow, that's a lot. That's <laughs> <laughs> a lot of marshmallows. You're just guessing, I'm assuming? No, it has it. What? Hey, right there. It One, two, the three, four. So we need three tablespoons. Where were you looking at? <laughs> Where? Right here. We're looking over here. Huh? Nothing. Oh. <laughs> Let's see how long it says. It doesn't. Let's just start and see what happens. We're going to start with 30 seconds. So? <laughs> Such a time. <laughs> <laughs> what are we using spatulas for? Just serve that. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, I guess it doesn't come out scared. 
All right, open that and see what we got so far. It's not even. We're not right. melted, so we're gonna keep going. Thirty more. Yeah. Let's do a minute. So we'll be at a minute and thirty seconds. All right, while we're waiting, I'm gonna ask Drew to use the pan to spray our dish. Drew or Drewby? Drewby. Drewby. <laughs> Make sure you get those sides. Wow, okay. Is that enough? <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got. Ooh, we got some work coming. Let's take that out. It is probably hot, so be careful. And stir it up for me. Uh, wait! Go to wash your hands. You just stuck your thumb in your mouth. You did. Go wash. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Make sure you get down to that butter at the bottom. Good, good. Looks good. Yeah. <laughs> Pour that over our Rice Krispies. Okay. So that's ready. That's you. Pour. Is that good? Yeah, it's great. Yeah. Wash your hands again. <laughs> These are very sticky. Of course, did you wash your hands? What? I didn't wash your Oh. I thought you said you did. Oh. I was kidding. Are you, were you really? Yes. Okay, what we're going to do, we're going to pour it in here. Okay, where's that other butter? Right there. Grab that. Yeah. And if you put a little butter on your fingertips, it helps it not to stick so bad. As you can see it is very sticky. Probably. Here, rub that on your fingers. Oh, do I have to wash my hands after this too? When you're done. Press that in there. More butter. <laughs> it still sticks. Yeah, you gotta get more butter. Too late. It's a little waste of butter. I read the other day if you use cold water on your hands, it does. It doesn't stick? Uh huh. Oh, really? Yeah. I've always done butter. Hey, okay, you've done it wrong always. <laughs> don't talk back. Kids, don't talk back to their elders. All right, good. And then what we're going to do after it's mashed in there, you're just going to leave it for a little bit. And then you can cut and serve, and you get to eat the rest in the bowl. Is that it? That's it. Wash your hands. That was so good. On the second half of episode number four of the kids edition of the Gospel Kitchen with the preacher and the soprano and the Drewby, Drewby we're going to be making not sure it says angel poop I'm not sure I can say that out loud without feeling guilty but the, the issue was a preacher's wife submitted that. Anyway, it came out of the, uh, uh, yeah, sharing our best volume number two, our church's cookbook, and it's called Angel Poop. So the ingredients you need for this are... Hester's butter popcorn and white chocolate chips. And that's it. Here we go. Let's get started. So we're going to need... One package of 12 ounces of white chocolate chips. 
Okay, this is an 11 ounce bag. We're gonna make it work. And we need two bags of popcorn. The first thing we're gonna do is melt our chocolate. So you will pour it in our microwavable safe bowl. And you want to heat in 30 second increments. Why 30 second increments? You will burn it if you don't. And burnt chocolate <laughs> smells like burnt chocolate. What's that smell like? Fat. Stinky. Fat, fat. Here she was fat. Oh, I get to mix it again. While we're waiting, we're going to get a sheet pan and a lighter for our that popcorn is. to go on when it's mixed. What'd you ask? I said, what was that again? A liner. Paper liner? A liner. Listen, train of falls boy. <laughs> Did you do another 30 seconds? Mm -hmm. Okay. How can we call Angel? No, let's call it Angel Fluffer. Angel. Angel. I thought it was popcorn. It's popcorn. 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 Yeah, I got popcorn. it. But it looked like popcorn on the thing. Does it need to be fully melted or like just start melting? Uh, you can go ahead and stir it a little bit. Okay. So how many increments is this? This is our second. So you can see it starting to melt on the bottom. Okay, have, don't and pour it out. <laughs> Mix it up pretty good. He still had 10 seconds left on that one. Okay, he's mixed it up just enough. Let's stick it back in there. Alright, open it up. Look, if you want someone to sing, get Maggie over here. That was sweet. Is that hot? Is that hot? Woo! Yes. <laughs> No, you may you may want to you may use, want to use some, the to help you get it in and out of the microwave. And, and you see how it's melted all nice there. See, but you don't want to do it all at one time because it will burn. And this is just about perfect right there. Here's you a towel. I'm gonna let you pour it in our popcorn. Pop puff corn. Whatever. No, ain't no popcorn. It's puff corn. What's the difference? Yeah, don't pour it in one spot. <laughs> well, I was just holding it steady. Okay, we're gonna mix it up really good. Good. Just because you want to be in charge. <laughs> Not a control freak like you. <laughs> okay, we're going to kind of spread it out because it will stick together. Some other fun things you can put in your puff corn and white chocolate are sprinkles or nuts or something that you want to garnish it with. And then you just need to let it sit and cool. Or you can even put it in your refrigerator, which is what we're going to do. Well, we're back and the things are ready. The Angel Fluff. I like that so much better. The Angel Fluff and the Rice Krispie Treats. And by the way, Allison told you you could put some stuff in the Angel Fluff, but you could also add things to the Rice Krispie Treats like chocolate chips or M &M. nuts, M&Ms. Um, and you can even do it with Fruity Pebbles at another time. But... Today, you've got Rice Krispies, and so there you, and I've even seen them do it with um, Cocoa Puffs. Yeah. So, yes. Anyway, right. they, oh, go ahead. they've taken them out, and they are ready to try their masterpieces. Oh, yeah. Let's see how Drew did. So, we're going to cut these open, or cut these Definitely open. get a, an adult to help you with this. Yes. Yeah. Yum. Look at that stringiness. Try that oh. out. 
I think I'll fry a little piece myself. Very good. Good? Mm-hmm. Very good. Better than what you can buy in the store. Prepackaged. <laughs> <laughs> They're great. Oh, that's Tony the Tiger. They're great. We could use Frosted Flakes. I guess you could. But... All right, let's try our Angel Fluff. Ready? Good. That is good. Mm -hmm. The popcorn is good. Which one's oh, yeah. better? Mm, they're both good. I like them both. Let's let Donovan check this it out. This is sweet and salty, and this is just sweet. Here comes the king of taste. You gotta bring an expert in. <laughs> Judging. Yep. In your opinion? Oh, my word. That stuff don't come apart too good. Range. That is a pretty good piece. You should do this in slow motion. <laughs> do this in slow motion. <laughs> yes, yes, good. This is really good. All right, time to do the job. <laughs> Also really good, I think you yes, said. They did a good job. <laughs> so we look forward to you doing these simple things. Enjoy, have some time with um, mom, dad, brother, sister. Have a good time making them together and learn to share as we love one another. Any words out, Drewby? Bye bye. Supposed to mash them down to make them even. I did. I'm making the pan even. You <laughs> have to wash his hands again. <laughs> clean, clean, clean the room, clean it all day long. That's what a woman's supposed to do. Yes, it is today. <laughs> yep. So what I'm supposed to be doing. Hi. We hope you have a wonderful day and a wonderful time doing this because it's just going to be awesome. And with that being said, we love you. Enjoy sharing. Peace out. Clean, clean, clean the kitchen. Miss <laughs> <laughs> Glenda, you can see that I cleaned the kitchen before we did this because it's really clean. 
She can testify. Hey, we hope you have a wonderful day and a wonderful time doing this because it's just going to be awesome. And with that being said, we love you. Enjoy sharing. Peace out. <laughs>